Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a Q&A because some of you are requesting it. So I decided to post on Instagram to ask me questions. I actually asked a few days ago, but I forgot after 24 hours, Instagram takes off the story. I never screenshot the questions. So I currently have another story right now that I just posted. There's people posting questions right now. So I'm gonna answer those. Are you guys ready? Ah. Oh, there's people that are so sweet. All right, I got this question a lot. So we're gonna answer it. Do you want more babies? Whew. Um, I don't even know why it's taking me so long to respond to this, but the question, I mean, the answer is no. Why? Because it is a lot of work. My case is very unique to everyone else's. I mean, everyone's case is unique, but the fact that I just had twins back to back pretty much took a toll on me. So... So what I'm trying to say is, it has been very difficult caring for a lot of little humans at the same time. So no, I do not want another baby because I don't want to add that to myself. Because having a child is a great responsibility, even with just one. There's a lot of people that tell me, I just have one child and I'm stressed. Like yes, even one baby is a lot of responsibility. I have five girls. It's a crazy responsibility, especially since they're all around like the same age. So right now, no, I do not want to have any more kids. Which comes back to another most asked question. Oops, hold on, hold on. Are you going for the boy? No. Honestly, since I'm like a girl mom, I think I would feel weird with the boy. Because I don't know, like, I love girls. Like, I love taking care of them overall who they are i like that they're just more like oh they don't like to get dirty aria as soon as she starts like um please forgive my nails by the way <laughs> i need to go get them done again i should just be like but um aria's like eating as soon as she dirties her hands she's like mom like she wants a napkin to clean them i don't know i just feel like it, i like the girliness because obviously like i connect with them but boys i don't know how it would be but no we're not trying for the boy. I'm happy with the girls. Okay, next. How do you manage taking care of all the girls and working? So, for those of you who do not know, I quit my job. I used to work at um, LAUSD. I started off by working as a teacher's assistant. After that, I became a substitute teacher. And then after that, a resource navigator, basically providing resources for families. But it was very hard on me and it was very tough after everything that happened with Alana. I feel like I needed help myself and I couldn't give. I needed to fill my cup first before I could give more. So I decided to stop working. Right now my job is being a content creator. I feel very privileged to do this as a job. The way I do my job, get the girls ready. My mom helps me out a lot. So I send the girls to my mom's house while I do recordings, I edit do collaborations and all that stuff later on i pick them up at my mom's house again it's time with them wait what was the question <laughs> so the question was how do you manage taking care of all the girls and working so basically my mom's a great help because i take them to her at a certain time and then i bring them back and then when they're with her then that's when i just start doing all my like recording editing oh this is interesting this is what's your favorite thing about yourself it can be anything. Oh, that's a good question. Nothing, not just kidding. I think it's how resilient I am. But at the same time, like I'm scared now. I was like, no, like please don't test me. Like if I have to be resilient, yes. But like so much has happened in one way or another. I'm still here, you know? I'm still trying my best. Cause this could have gone a totally different way. I would probably not be here by now. So that's what I love about myself. Okay, next question. This one's the good one. What did you do to survive the NICU? Twins reunite after birth. As bad as it may seem, because being there in the NICU was a very traumatic experience. I miss it. <laughs> because regardless, at the moment I really hated 
seeing the machines, seeing all the lines on my babies. But just looking back, like it was keeping them alive, you know? When I stop and think about it now, it's like if they didn't have a NICU, our babies would have just been gone a long time ago. The last would have just never made it. Alana wouldn't have made it home. It was a very hard time, especially because I had girls at home and because I had two sets of twins. Like I had babies at home, I had babies in the NICU. <sighs> Honestly, it was just a lot of prayer for me and um, also being distracted because I feel like what helped me out the most was I didn't even, I never really had time to just sit down and be sad or depressed. Like I was always doing something. I was going to Nick, I was coming back, I had to take care of the girls and I, I had to go over there. And I feel like time was going so fast. But even when I would sit down, because they said you have to hold them for an hour, you and I would sit down, I would just enjoy the time I had with them because I know I had to leave soon. And the way I survived was just like, you know, praying and not giving up. Like our babies need us. Focusing on them, you know, because they need our touch. And I noticed every time I was there, they would always feel better. Like they, their numbers would get better. They would get better quicker. It's just being patient, you know, and it's hard, but having peace is what's going to help that and the only one that can give peace like that is god through prayer that's how i survived tips on how to read the bible i had just started reading the bible but i want to say first of all get a bible that you understand my sister recommended the life application bible now it has changed the game for me because i not only and it's nlt not only do i understand it but it even has like sections in the bottom where it explains it even more and it applies it to your life so that has changed my life and i have it linked in my bio and my and my like to know it i feel like finding a good bible study is essential and for me it was the armor of god that book let me tell you just save me it was a very good book that it's like a day-to-day -day thing that you read and you take notes but as you're going in the notes is asking questions and making sure you're capturing everything you're learning and for me that book is like 11 out of 10 100 out of 10 you guys should definitely check it out if you want to start looking into bible studies and how to go back and look into verses in the Bible and all that stuff. So for me, that was the start of it all. And if you're looking to start somewhere, that could be a good start for you as well. For the number one question that has been asked in like eight months. <laughs> so for the number one question that has been asked in over eight months. For a very long time in every single one of my videos. Summer Twins Husband, Summer Twins Husband. What happened to Summer Twins Husband? Where is your husband? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I present to you guys, Salvador Alan Gutierrez. I'm him. Yeah, I was gone for a while, but now I'm back. Kidding. Yeah, I we went through some things. Which brings us back to our, my other most asked questions is, are you divorced? Are you single? Are you? <laughs> no, I'm not divorced. No, um, I'm not single. Oh. Are you single, Alan? No. So we are still married. We were this close. I wish you guys could see how close. What's the closest I can get it? We were very close to getting divorced. Life has just been very 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 hard how is alan doing so happy to see him back i'm doing really good um actually not as good as i was expecting to but i'm alive <laughs> and so <laughs> um yeah <laughs> i'm good thank god we obviously have to point out the main reason as to why this whole separation happened it was because of alana's passing we're just gonna be very brief obviously we're not gonna go into detail with everything but he was broken i was broken and like i just feel like after lana's passing it was very tough on us both and i think there was just a lot of work to do still work that i wasn't prepared to do all i wanted to do was lay down in bed and not do anything you know mourn but we still had to take care of the girls and around that time it was very tough because if you guys haven't heard my story, 
Um, Summer's tooth was aching. Her cheek was swollen. Celeste couldn't breathe. She was in the hospital across the hall the same time as Alana. Um, so it was just an Alana going through things. It was also the other girls. So there was like so much going on that I feel like we just, we just couldn't take all the pressures of what was going on around us that we just exploded on each other and it literally was gonna destroy us um but nonetheless he is back all thanks to god because as difficult as that time was i feel like i've changed so much since i started seeking him she has um so what matters is that he is back and we are trying our best to work on ourselves as well as our marriage and our family. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for following my wife. <coughs> <coughs> she doesn't take it for granted, by the way. And um, she cares a lot about you guys. She's kind of awkward when you guys approach her in public. <laughs> I've tried and telling her to, you know, be a little bit more enthused by it, but I am. It's she not, is. I'm she not, really is. She just doesn't I know just, how to. I'm just very socially awkward. Sometimes, I don't, I don't know. Like, I've just always been that way. Like, I get shy or something. But it doesn't mean I don't want to talk to you. Basically, I'm expecting you to make a conversation because I don't know how. <laughs> but seriously guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys like this video we can probably do another one if you have more questions if you would like to see more just me not him i'm just kidding <laughs> just kidding or yeah. if you want him to come out more i don't know but he has to want to do you want to i wouldn't mind because i still have my side of the story you guys haven't heard see you guys thank you uh, all right you. see you guys on the next one action <laughs> I'm still six foot two with an attitude. Look, 